Hello, I'm the Gray Gamer, and uh, this is Euro Truck Simulator 2. And uh, just showing you my rig. Still got it set up for the Christmas uh, with the Gray Wolf. And uh, as you can see over here, I'm now level 10 uh, with 8,358 miles uh, under my belt. And uh, oh, wanted to show you a couple other things. We got ash and sun uh, up in the window. That's for my, my two Italian Greyhounds, Ashley and Grayson. Uh, my co pilots. And then over there on that side, you got TG Gamer, the Grey Gamer, with the GG Derp on the bottom. So there you go. Now let's take a quick look at our company and see what's going on here with it uh, check in on my drivers all right so I've got Tobias and uh, he's at 4.2 rating and uh, I switched his um, I had him on long haul but now I've switched him back to balanced so that he can uh, start balancing out a little bit and as you can see he's been bringing in pretty good money he did miss one load there where he didn't have uh, didn't get a load um, but he's been doing pretty good overall uh, so yeah we can't complain about him old Tobias and then we picked up a new driver uh, and I'll show you the results of that here in a minute this is Lucy and she's got her rating up to 2.5 now she's improving and uh, and she's been doing uh, uh, running uh, uh, high-end stuff, mostly uh, excavators and forklifts and diggers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But she's starting to pick up the uh, the funds too, so that's helpful. And uh, yeah, okay. And then you got me, the gray gamer, and uh, yeah. We're picking up. We got. Uh, we've added more in our uh, on-time deliveries. So uh, yeah, and here's our garage with them, and we're all running Scania's. And uh, basically, what I did was I set them up so that uh, uh, they get grayer, the better they get. Uh, so uh, there you go that's the idea behind that anyway she's got see like a almost a whitish color rig but it, all Scania's I like some of the other trucks but I really like the Scania's all right now let's take a look at the financials real quick here and then we'll hit the road um, we borrowed 400,000 at 12 percent uh, we're working on that one and we borrowed some more money we borrowed a hundred and uh, I think it was hundred eighty thousand um, to buy uh, another rig and to hire Lucy um, and that one's at eight, eight, 18 percent uh, so uh, we have to pay back uh, almost nine thousand a day now um, but we're doing it we're not really coming out breaking out too far ahead but as you can see, we're, we've been making payments on it. I'd like to get this 100000 paid down, obviously, because I'm paying 18% on that one. Um, but I felt it was more important to get three three drivers driving. Um, so that's what we're working on. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I got a phone call, so I had to take care of some real-life business. But uh, let's take a quick look at the map and uh, show you where we're at um, we're down here in Dijon I've been running around in France going from Geneva uh, Lyon, uh, Lyon uh, Dijon and all these areas uh, been trying to get around get um, back uh, up into this area and stuff you guys see I still got to get to Lee uh, Liege well, I tell you what, I apologize if I'm saying it wrong, folks. Don't, don't, don't jump on me. Just leave it in the comments and, and uh, help me out with a 
pronunciation. What I've been doing is, and this is what I'm going to stick to um, pretty much, is I'm trying to go from uh, wherever I am. And, uh, okay, so like I'm here now in Dijon. Um, and I can go to Metz. Okay. Have we been to Metz yet? Yeah, we've been to Metz. Uh, Leon, Bern. Okay, so, um, let's see. I don't want to go to Leon because I've been there too many times. We can go back to Bern. I might go back to Bern, and that way we can try to pick up some of these uh, places in Italy or, or something. Um, so, yeah, let's see. Take a load of meat from Dijon to Bern. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Let's go ahead and run that. And uh, let's get on our way, man. Pups are ready to roll. They've had their Mountain Dew. They're good to go. I really don't recommend you give Mountain Dew to your dogs. But, hey, you know. All right, so we're start up our rig here. I got to get some fuel in my truck. Are we gonna get lucky? Is this our gonna be our spot? No. Okay, this is not our spot. Should I see what's here? Let's see what's here. Uh. Yeah, I don't think I want to take any of these. Let's go get our other one. Um, it's just right up the road here, so we'll be heading out. Make that turn. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, and let me see. I got to check my time, see how much time we got. Five hours before we have to sleep again. So we're good. Uh, and this is supposed to only take an hour or so. So, uh, yeah. Well, I'll get this hooked up and we'll get going. And then I'll be back when, uh, when we get further down the road. I'll be back. Welcome back. Um, we're just filling up and uh, getting ourselves some drink and some kibbles for the dogs and uh, pick, my, pick myself up some chips you want some chips or uh, what you guys like to call over here uh, crisps um, and we're about half the way there so we're we're in good shape but we got to get on down the road here so, uh, yeah. And, uh, one of the tricks I like to, to pull is, uh, especially on the other rigs that are driving by me, I'll put, uh, Ashley up on my lap and put her paws up on the steering wheel. She likes driving. And, uh, I'll lean back as far as I can in my seat so that when, uh, the other guys go by and, you know, they like to wave. It's it's the friendly thing to do to a fellow trucker. And they look over and they see this dog, little greyhound, driving this big old rig. And uh, I can't gr get Grayson to do it. He, he kind of just looks at me like, what? You want me to do what? I'm not too sure about that dog. I don't think he's the sharpest tool in the shed. But Ashley, she's she's all over it. She's got a lot of hours logged in on my rig already uh, driving. She gets a real kick out of it. And like I said, I have fun with the uh, with my fellow truckers. Of course, now they're starting to rib me about it and uh, talking about how you know she has a better driving record than I do. She doesn't crash as much as I do. She gets the jobs done on time, unlike I do. So yeah, it's it's uh, 
It's all in good fun though, isn't it, right? Yeah, yeah, keep telling yourself that. Keep telling yourself that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we're going to get this down the road and then we'll be in good shape. Some of these turns are a little bit problematic for me. Now, I did have an experience the other day where I actually laid my rig over and I thought, oh man, I'm gonna have to call for a tow. And uh, lo and behold, my rig hit something, sliding, and uh, ended up popping back up, and I just kept on rolling. <laughs> I wish I had caught it on camera though, man. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, got a fuel tank, our fuel is filled up, we've got 2000 in the bank because we paid off another one of our loan payments, so we're in good shape, we're legit again for a little while. <coughs> Excuse me. Say we're le we're legal, legit. Uh, everything's paid up, in other words. And uh, so yeah, we got now we got to make the money to pay the man the next time. We're loading, carrying a load of uh, 20 tons of uh, meat to uh, burn. And uh, again, if I'm saying that wrong, please let me know. Because I sure would like to know. Uh, I'm taking up both lanes here on some of these. You know, I, I, I realize that uh, there's just some things you got to do. You know, you got to. But I tell you what, you get to the point in this game where you have no. Look at this. See what I'm talking about right here. I have no problem cutting off the AI uh, and stuff like that because they do stuff like that to me all the time. And does it matter what color? No. Does it matter what size vehicle? No. <sighs> they do not care. Oh, don't start that yawn and stuff. Don't get, don't, don't get going on that. You're almost there, dude. You're almost there. Slow your roll, man. Slow your roll. Coming in to burn here. And uh, we've got a couple of... got a question mark over there that we're going to have to drive around and pick up. But I, I usually like to take my delivery to the... to the depot first. Because of the uh, timed bonus and then I'll uh, bobtail it around town uh, so uh, yeah but yeah me and the pups we get along pretty good trying to get Grayson to read the map and uh, he, he wants to chew it instead of read it, so. That's not good. <sighs> no, I know, I hear you, I hear you yawning. We'll get you there, man, we'll get you there. Here's the rest. There's a rest coming up. I need to switch over. Gonna make a turn here. At the light. I'm gonna take a turn, make a right here. Let me get my, oops. There we go. 
I like to pull the PDA in tight. That way I don't overshoot it. There's a couple of times. Ooh, that's going to hurt. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's going to hurt. We're scraping it. Oh, this is not going to go good. Oh. No. Really? Okay. Turn the wheel. Stop. You don't want to run into somebody in the back. See if I can get around this guy without scraping too much. <sighs> I know, I know. You're tired. That's why you couldn't take that turn, right? Yeah. Let's make this turn a little better, maybe. A little better. More better good. There we go. And uh, looks like we're going to be delivering it right here. So uh, let's pull into the yard. All right. And enter. There we go. Good work. 4% damage. That's not good. That's not good. All right. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at our diagnostic. Oh, we had 1% on our rig. See? Only one percent on the rig, but more on the more on the other one. So that's not good. All right, we're gonna finish up this episode with me uh, doing a little bit of bobtailing around town. Uh, which way am I going? Out this way, yeah. Um, we want to get over there to where that question mark is. So we're going to go. We're going to go. I think I'm going to go left. I'll go around the corner here. <sighs> I hear you, I hear you. Oh, you mean that light wasn't green. Oops, my bad. It's probably a recruiting agency, but, you know. I've been to Vern before, and I thought I unlocked all of these, but apparently I didn't. So, uh... We're going to go down here, unlock it, and then we're going to come back and see where that, uh, we'll go back to the, uh, uh, repair shop, and, uh, oh, there's a place to sleep just down the road from the question mark. We might go on down there to the no-tail motel. No-tail motel means... Whatever you do there, don't tell. Just saying. Just saying. Let's make this turn here. I'd rather it be a truck. I got it again. Why oh, those red lights are getting me today. I don't usually do that. Let's see, what is this? A oh, man truck dealer, okay. I was just getting ready to say I I would rather open up uh, the truck shops than the, uh, whoa. What happened there? Did I get away with one? I might have. I threw the truck in reverse there for a second and really got jacked up. Hit that car. See, still got 1%, and it didn't give me an offense, so 
I guess he's okay with it. Not really, but... <sighs> you guys gotta move, man. I gotta sleep. I'm tired. I gotta get down here and get, grab me some Z's. I'm going to the no-tail, motel. And usually I back in, but you know what? I'm not even gonna worry about that this time either. I'm just gonna pull the rig up. Hit E, hit enter. And getting me some sleep. All right. So Lucy brought in a little bit of some some. Hundred sixty one euro. All right. Well, I'm the great gamer, and uh, thank you for riding along. And we will catch you down the road.